want to be stuck in the dark talking about what happened to me. I'm not in that. That's not my reality anymore. Hey YouTube, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So as y'all can see by the title, this is things I've learned from my toxic friendships, part two. Okay, but before that guys, if you are a beginner content creator and you wanna learn how to edit your videos, I do have a beginner's editing course down in my description box below if you guys are interested. So things I've learned from my toxic friendships. Number one, this one is kind of a follow up to a subscriber who asked me a question. Never refriend somebody that you fell out with. People who do you wrong will do you wrong again. It's the same thing with relationships. When you sit up here and let somebody cheat on you, disrespect you take advantage of you and you keep taking them back you're settling same thing with friendships because i feel like sometimes the friendship love that we have can be a bit deeper than our romantic love platonic love is a strong type of love and if these people are sitting up here not being a friend to you you should not take them back because when people do wrong by you yes it can be a mistake you can communicate to this person you know you did this to me and it made me feel this way and try to come to an agreement to try to better the relationship but if this is a habitual thing if this is going on all the time they're not your friend and if they feel comfortable enough to keep hurting you then you take them back they're just gonna keep hurting you i don't feel like you should ever be cool with somebody that you fell out with especially if it was over something that was serious no because sometimes people's actions show their character. Say for example, if your friend left you somewhere, that shows their character. You should never refriend somebody like that because they don't care about you. And it kind of leads me into my next point, which is take your own transportation. Sometimes we have friends that we think are our friends, but in reality, they might be hating on us. They might be jealous of us. And people are willing to do anything to set you up, to harm you. Sometimes. You really don't know the intentions of people because people are getting better at hiding it. In the past, I used to hang out with this one friend of mine. We used to go places together. Sometimes I would ride with her. Sometimes she would ride with me. But it got to the point where I would end up being in places where I did not want to be. And I had no way home. Take your own transportation to and from especially if you're younger if you're in high school early college you just don't know take your own transportation please be friends with like-minded people now i do understand that a lot of people have different backgrounds people come from all walks of life but i feel like if you are a certain type of way you need to find people who are kind of similar because when you find yourself trying to mix in with people that you aren't really like for the sake of having friends and not being alone, you start to clash. It's either you feel like they aren't good enough or they feel like you aren't good enough. There's always something that's going to happen. For example, I used to have a friend that was more reactive. You say something that she doesn't like, she's gonna blow up on you. She's gonna argue with you. She's going to wanna fight you. And I'm the type of person I'm chill, I'm more reasonable, I wanna have a conversation. I'm not trying to throw hands immediately. Now, I'm not saying that I won't do it, but at first glance, when we're first having a problem, I want to try to solve the problem. I'm not going to react because I'm not a hothead in that way. And these types of people, can get you into trouble. You might end up going to jail. Somebody might be getting hurt. You never know. Be friends with people who are like you. If you're the type of person, you are not a partier. You're not a club goer. You like to go go-karting. You like to go painting, driving around downtown or something. The two are not going to mix. You're always going to feel like you're not being authentic. You're always going to feel like you're not in your element because you're forcing yourself to do something that is not natural to you. I'm not saying that you can't ever get outside of your comfort zone, but if you're trying to live in a comfort zone that is not yours, you will not be comfortable. I found myself doing all sorts of things just to say that I have friends. Because like I always tell y'all, the people that we hang around are the people that we become. If you're hanging around these, you're gonna be the next one. No matter how much self-control that you think that you have, you're gonna be the next one. And I say to have like-minded friends because me personally, I'm tired of being the smartest in the room. I want people around me who can teach me something for once. People who can teach me how to elevate. I don't want to have to be the mother in every situation. I don't want to have to be the person that people go to for advice. I don't want to have to be the person that's taking care of everybody when everybody's drunk at a party. I feel like when you're always having to take care of somebody and nobody is taking care of you, 
nurturing you, giving value to you, it drains your energy. And you never have fun in those types of dynamics where you're always caretaking. You're always in mother mode. I want people who take interest in the same things that I take interest in, have the same types of mindsets and beliefs as me. So there's no oh girl i don't think that you should do that you sitting up here crying on the phone to me 24 7. And i'm not saying that if your friends do this that they're not good people that they're not good friends i'm not saying that there won't be moments where you need to let your friend vent you need to listen to them but i'm talking about if this is constant no i'm not dealing with that no more i'm not your mom i'm your friend so i need people to treat me as such because i know that i'm a good friend the last one is trauma bonds these are when people bond over bad things happening to them i was friends with two girls and we were in a trio we all bonded over the fact that we hated school and that we had bad things happening to us i still have love for them and i wish them the best but after i stopped being friends with them i really had to sit down and reflect and think why am i friends with these people these types of people i'm always having to take care of them we never really talk or hang out unless we're trying to escape from something unless we have something bad happening to us we don't really have the same mindsets and beliefs we're just friends because we bonded over the fact that we could relate to something bad. And those are the worst types of friendships. I feel like sometimes they can turn into a good thing. Like you can get a good ride or die, a good day one lifelong friend from situations like that. But when y'all are friends over trauma, that's the worst because it's like y'all are three different types of people. Y'all would never actually be friends in real life. And y'all are all exchanging negative energy between each other. I might be having a decent day, but then you come along telling me what happened. You like, you know what, girl, that did happen to me too yesterday. It's just a constant cycle. And then you guys get attached to each other. You feel like you can't stop being friends with these people, but in reality, you're just attached. These people don't bring anything but negativity into your life. The fact that all y'all talk about are negative things, Y'all cannot be friends. As a friend, I don't want to always have to be talking about what's going wrong in my life. I want to share my accomplishments with you. I want to take trips with you. I want to have fun. I want to live in light. I don't want to be stuck in the dark talking about what happened to me or what went wrong. I'm not in that. That's not my reality anymore. I want to have fun. With trauma bonds, it's not really wrong for you to be happy because y'all are used to that sadness that despair and you get comfortable in it all y'all do is complain to each other about the same things but you're not doing anything to change it stay away from trauma bond friendships i think i'll make a whole nother video on that so now i just want y'all to take inventory of the people that you have around you don't have people around you just for the sake of seeing that you have friends don't have people around you just because you feel lonely if you feel lonely go talk to god because he brought me through all of my loneliest days. I promise you that. And I'm not saying that you won't ever feel lonely once God brings you through those days. It's hard, but you have to keep going. Sit with yourself. Think about the type of friends that you actually want. Friends that'll value you. Friends that you will value. And then watch you attract those types of people into your life. So that is the end of this video. I probably will make a part three coming soon. I hope you liked it and got some value from it. And if you did, leave a like or a comment down below. Whenever you leave a like, it helps this video get out to more people. If you are a beginner content creator and you wanna learn how to edit your videos, I do have an editing course down in my description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Like damn, she on move. Like damn, she on move.